very much. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the Spoilers of Peace Awards 2021. Yemen, where those responsible for undermining peace and accountability will get the recognition their actions so clearly deserve. We've had over 150 nominations for these well-deserved awards, which shows just how many are playing their part in keeping this bloody and deadly war going. Unfortunately, we only have 10 categories this evening, but you can rest assured, these really are the individuals spoiling the piece. Before we get going with the ceremony, I'd like to start with the latest headlines from Yemen. Despite continuously falling off the news agenda, the civil war is still raging. This almost seven year long conflict has displaced millions and has left Yemen on the brink of famine. Over 400,000 Yemeni children are at risk of dying of starvation and malnutrition, and 16.2 million people currently face acute food insecurity. This is not incidental. Yemen's warring parties are deliberately starving Yemenis as a method of warfare and continue to commit grave human rights violations, with some amounting to war crimes. Impunity for these violations have fueled the conflict in Yemen, creating the world's largest man-made humanitarian catastrophe. Meanwhile, members of the UN Human Rights Council have just voted to disband the only international, independent and impartial mechanism that worked to monitor and combat violations committed by all parties to the conflict in Yemen. With this one opportunity for redress now in jeopardy, those who continue the war for power and profit feel little pressure to embrace genuine negotiations and cease their human rights violations. The Spoilers of Peace campaign is making the case that this cannot continue. It is a step towards breaking the cycle of impunity, naming and shaming the individuals, warring parties, governments and businesses most responsible for spoiling peace in Yemen. Without Yemen's perpetrators brought to justice and without an inclusive peace process that includes Yemeni women, youth and civil society, peace will never be realized. The Cairo Institute for Human Rights Studies is an independent organization which aims to promote respect for the principles of human rights and democracy in the MENA region, and we are incredibly proud to be coordinating this campaign. The nominations for these awards have been submitted by members of the public as well as Yemeni and international civil society. We're so lucky to have an esteemed panel of judges reviewing the nominations across award categories. Joining us tonight, activist and president of the International Federation for Human Rights, Alice Mogwe, research fellow at the Yemen Policy Center, Hadil Al Muwaffaq, human rights defender and Martin and Nell's Award 2020 laureate, Huda Al Sarari, human rights lawyer and member of the International Commission of Jurists, Reid Brody. I'll now hand it over to our panel of judges will announce the winners. In Yemen, floods and droughts have wrecked livelihoods and led to the destruction of civilian infrastructure. Now, experts feel that an impending oil spill in Yemen's Red Sea will cause an environmental disaster threatening water and food supply. For enabling and committing acts that have caused or threatened to cause environmental degradation in Yemen, the top spoiler for environmental damage is Muhammad Ali Al Houthi. <laughs> Muhammad Ali Al Houthi has prevented the rescue of the decaying massive oil tanker Safar now a ticking time bomb that threatens to spill more than a million barrels of crude oil into the Red Sea that will cause a devastating effect on the region, including for the people of Yemen.
The war in Yemen will soon reach its seventh year, and each day, those telling its stories and documenting its catastrophic impact find themselves at risk. The top spoiler for undermining safe reporting and freedom of expression is Mujahid Ahmed Al Amdi. As the head of the specialized criminal court in Houthi controlled areas, Al Amdi has enabled and overseen gross human rights violations committed against those unfairly sentenced and executed by the court, including journalists, academics, and human rights defenders. Under Houthi's control, the specialized criminal courts have contributed to a climate of fear and brutal repression of free speech, where independent reporting and speaking one's mind has become a crime. The top spoiler for violations against asylum seekers refugees and migrants is Shalal Sheh. This is for overseeing the campaign of mass unlawful arrests and arbitrary detention and appalling inhumane conditions as well as sexual and gender-based violence against Ethiopian migrants in Laj and Aden between March and June of 2019. This is also for the behavior of the UAE-backed security, which is tied to Shay's command, who raped women and girls and sexually assaulted women, boys, girls, and men. المتسبب الأكبر في ارتكاب جرائم العنف الجنسي والعنف القائم على النوع الاجتماعي هو عبد الحكيم هاشم علي الخيواني عبد الحكيم هاشم الخيواني هو رئيس جهاز الأمن والمقابرات وكذلك أيضا نائب وزير الداخلية سابقا كان مسؤولا عن العديد من الانتهاكات أي التي قامت بها جماعة الكوفيين ومسؤول أيضا على العديد من مرافق الاحتجاز وكذلك قوات الأمن وإدارة البحث الجنائي بصنعاء بالإضافة إلى أنه أشرف على الارتكاب جرائم العنف الجنسي والعنف القائم على النوع الاجتماعي والإفلات من العقاب ارتبط الخيواني بأعمال أحد القادة الحوثيين في ممارسة تعذيب واقتصاب النساء في السجون وإدارة الشبكة واسعة ضالعة في أعمال القمع السياسي تحت ستار الدعارة كذلك أيضا تسبب باعتقال واحتجاز النساء وتعرضهن للضرب والتعذيب والاعتداء الجنسي بسبب انتماءاتهن السياسية أو مشاركتهن في الأنشطة السياسية والاحتجاجات وثق الجرائم التي قام بها والإشراف عليها فريق الخبراء البارزين كذلك أيضا لجنة العقوبات التابعة لمجلس الأمن بالإضافة لتسليط Thank you to Reed, Hadil, Elise, and Huda. The results are rolling in. Don't forget to use the hashtag #ShamingTheShameless to live tweet the event and stay tuned for tonight's big winner. The top overall spoiler of peace announcement is coming shortly. Back to our judges. The war in Yemen has had the most staggering impact on the lives of children. More than 2 million boys and girls are now out of school as the conflict continues. The top spoiler for violations against children is Mohammed bin Salman. This is for overseeing Saudi Arabia's policies in Yemen, 
which include the killing and maiming of children through airstrikes and for attacks on a school and a school bus. A school was hit by airstrikes in the northern Hayden district, killing 10 children and injuring 28. A school bus was hit in the Dahan market, killing 26 children and injuring 19. For transferring arms or military supplies to parties engaged in the conflict, the top spoiler for arming the parties to the conflict is Prime Minister Boris Johnson. (laughs) Boris Johnson gets this prize in recognition of the UK's role as one of the leading suppliers of arms to Saudi Arabia and its coalition that have been used to target civilians and civilian infrastructure causing large-scale death and destruction in Yemen. For creating and fostering corruption and engaging in illicit financial flaws, to satisfy a small elite and perpetuate armed conflict in Yemen, the top spoiler for fueling the war economy is Abdurrabbo Mansour Hadi. As president of the internationally recognized government of Yemen, Hadi bears considerable responsibility for his administration's pervasive corruption, which has reached unprecedented levels during the war. He has abused his power by supporting his sons Jalal's personal profiteering from fuel imports and by enriching small elites in his inner circle. To some extent, the corruption permitted by Hadi has created strong incentives towards the perpetuation of the conflict. المفسد المتسبب بالمعاناة الإنسانية هو هاني بن بريك هاني بن بريك نائب رئيس المجلس الانتقالي الجنوبي اليمن تعتبر أكبر مأساة إنسانية في العالم يحتاج 21 مليون شخص في اليمن للمساعدات الإنسانية يعتبر هاني بن بريك مفسد للسلام ومتسبب بالمعاناة الإنسانية لقطاع واسع من السكان في المحافظات المتحررة كذلك أيضا أنشأ الأحزمة الأمنية المدعومة من الإمارات في المحافظات المحررة وكذلك أيضا عمل على تقويض سلطات إنفاذ القانون شجع على اندلاع القتال الواسع في المناطق المحررة كذلك أيضا هاني بن بريك متسبب بتوسع شبكة دائرة العنف في المناطق المحررة وساهم أيضا في طرد الحكومة من عدن وعدم الاستقرار تسبب في معاناة شريحة واسعة من السكان المدنيين وبالتالي انقطاع الخدمات الضرورية عن السكان ساهم وأشرف أيضا من خلال منصبه على ارتكاب جرائم جسيمة بالإضافة إلى الانتهاكات للقانون الدولي الإنساني وقانون حقوق الإنسان تسبب أيضا في مقتل وإصابة المدنيين نتيجة استمرار دائرة العنف في المناطق المحررة The top spoiler for atrocities and severe rights violation is Mohammed bin Salman. As Crown Prince and Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman has overseen and commanded the Saudi-led coalition, which has inflicted immense suffering on Yemenis. Since the coalition intervened in Yemen, its indiscriminate attacks have left thousands of Yemenis either dead or injured and it has systematically targeted critical civilian infrastructure 
including medical facilities and water and agricultural infrastructures, together with the use of economic blockade that restricts the imports of important food and medical supplies, the actions of the Saudi-led coalition have contributed to the world's worst humanitarian crisis. And now, what you've all been waiting for. The nominees for top overall spoiler of peace are Abdul Malik Al Houthi, Hani Ben Brick, Mohammed bin Salman, and Mohammed bin Zayed. For derailing efforts towards negotiating a durable peace in Yemen. For failing to use their political power to implement agreements to de escalate fighting and for ultimately deepening the suffering of Yemenis. The top overall spoiler of peace is Abdul Malik al -Hurti. Abdul Malik Badr al-Din al who al Qaeda al Askari, was Tiasi, was Ruhi, Ligamaa al Husi, Yurtaber, who al Mesul al Awal, Wal Muartel, Amalia Kestalam, Fi al Yemen. يدير ويشرف على ارتكاب الانتهاكات الجسيمة لحقوق المدنيين انخرط في أعمال تهدد الأمن والسلام والاستقرار في اليمن أدرج اسمه في قائمة العقوبات في 2015 في قرار من مجلس الأمن أيضا ارتكب العديد من الانتهاكات وساهم في تعميق معاناة اليمنيين وتهديد السلم والأمن لدور لدول مجاورة ساهم في تفاقم اقتصاد الحرب والتربح اللا مشروع عزز أيضا من ارتكاب الانتهاكات والجرائم الجسيمة بحق المدنيين ساهم في حصار المدن اليمنية واستهداف المدنيين بأنواع الأسلحة والصواريخ والطيران المسير وكذلك أيضا زراعة الألغام المحرمة دوليا as the military, spiritual, and political leader of Houthis, Abdul Malik Al Houthi bears the ultimate responsibility for actions of his group. Houthi rule is characterized by brutal repression, public executions, and paranoia in what has been described as a reign of terror. The group's engagement in mass indoctrination of Yemenis, especially the youth, is molding a future generation of fighters that would keep the country stuck in endless cycles of violence and war. Furthermore, Houthis profits from the war economy and their ambitions to expand their territorial control over Yemen have since derailed all efforts towards negotiating a durable peace to Yemen's conflict. Thank you for watching this evening. I hope tonight's award ceremony has helped shine a light on what is unfortunately becoming a forgotten war. After the show tonight, we will be doing a Q&A session with myself and the panel of judges. Please do join if you can. Once again, thank you for tuning in, and I sincerely hope that we will not be here the same time next year. Good night. Mm -hmm.